Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday here, uh, 7 November. Very annoying week. Uh, lots of hope trading. Lots of wishful thinking on this side. Um, general stupidity. You would think after all these years we would know better. Uh, but clean slate today. Uh, certainly on the tactical side of things. Uh, let's take a look on what we're thinking at the European Open today. We obviously got that news last night about trade. There's a delay. Unclear where the meeting is going to be. There's obviously some headwinds. There's obviously some clouds uh, in this. This filtered into dollar yen more than anything. Uh, and so dollar yen has failed again at the 200 day at 109.05. We're back mid range. Uh, this is the line that, that we're looking at that is of interest. Uh, this is kind of the upward sloper from August from the 104, 104.44 lows. We broke it here. We just missed it today. It comes in at 34. So yen looks like it's flipped again. We're mid-range here. We're not too, too excited. We're marginally short, just a tiny short uh, from the news last night up at 98. But nothing that's going to pay the bills per se. We get a little more excited when uh, we see prices at 35 and we see how we look. With this turn in dollar yen, let's look at all the rest of this uh, euro yen. Same thing. I mean, we're still focusing on these Halloween bars that were never really... Um, never really broken in a sense. Traded all the way back up to 29, but didn't quite get to the 46. Now we've made new lows. Uh, Euro yen looks to set looks set to go lower today, as dollar yen looks set to go lower. Aussie yen, same type of bar. Aussie also has finally confirmed the tug of war at 69. The figure. Downside is now taking action, obviously, with the news. This thing slid down to 60. Uh, we like being short Aussie. In fact, or short Aussie yen looks like um, an interesting play today. We're already down 0.4, so you've got to be careful about that with considering how weak vol is. I think you can probably sell this between 77 and 87 here in Europe. Uh, and make some money. We got uh, industrial production in uh, Germany today. We also have construction PMI this morning. Uh, it's tough now on these numbers. The expectations are so low. There's a chance for topside surprises now. But it's the topside surprise of, of a terrible number. So it, you know, it shouldn't create some any kind of massive bounce. We're incredibly confused by this price action in Euro uh, and the dollar index in general. So we're not really touching this. We slipped down to 54 last night. There should be support here at 50, but I mean, we thought there was going to be support on the 111 handle. Now we're 110.60 and we just have to put the guns down for now and we're trading this tactically as the book is square euros. It's just really unclear what the hell is happening here. So when you don't know what's happening and you don't have a good setup, you do nothing. Let's look at gold. We talked about this 80 level. Very, very important. Um, the risk off pushed gold back higher, but this make this makes this level even more important, 1480. Keep a lookout on this level. There'll be money to be made. Uh, on the trading through 1480. It looks like it could just go through 80 um, down to 65 uh, quite quickly. So keep an eye at 1480. Boone's failed miserably down there at the 200 day. We talked about it. 200 day was at 30. We got down to 22. Uh, and then again with the risk off news, we've traded back to the top side. 
were still bears and boons. We did take some back at 50, uh, which gives us flexibility now to resell uh, up here 171, sort of figure 30. Don't think boons are going to get back through 172. Um, still core short boons looking for rates higher in the fixed income complex in general. Take a look at the tens, same type of chart. This is eventually going to break this this 128, 128.15, uh, and this will be a very key moment. It's probably around 190 yield, probably around 185, 190. Um, very important to watch this on the price level 128.15. Sterling, we got Bank of England today. Going to be pretty messy. Uh, we do have risk below 127.90. So all of these longs here that bought, who were betting on uh, sort of a soft Brexit and a finish to this mess, if they don't, def you know, if they're protecting themselves, they're going to have stops here below 127.90. It looks like the market wants to take this out. Uh, so I'd be very careful with this, and we'll be looking quite closely. Ideally, we get a touch down here and then a small bounce, uh, and then we can take out risk through 127.90. So let's let's watch that on the short side. I don't expect the Bank of England to say much. They're certainly not going to be hawkish, um, but I think they're going to come out and just be very, very neutral and say it's all Brexit dependent. So it should be a messy, um, but probably not super directional Bank of England today. Dollar Swiss, we'd like to sell this doji yesterday. Um, can you sell through a new low here, uh, 99.15 area? Probably. Um, is this a better horse than Euro dollar? Maybe, um, just because of the possible risk off that's lurking, lurking out here uh, with this news about problems with China. The ES market is not confirming any of this. Uh, basically open and closed, same area, now for three days in a row. Traded down to 62, which is really not, which is really no big deal, 10 handles lower. It kind of shows that the market's not quite ready to go down yet. Um, so we're just watching, we're waiting for the event, we're waiting for the moment where this is a confirmed turn. Yesterday could have been that moment, but prices are telling us now that it is not that moment. So please be patient uh, on the turn. Let this go as high as it wants to go. Um, the higher it goes, the harder it will fall, uh, and the more money we can make when it is falling. So we're just leaving this alone for now. It still looks pretty big. Not a whole, not a whole heck of a lot else. Uh, we're a little, little sanguine this side. Not really feeling too front foot. Trading has not been going very well this week, so we're going to keep things quiet um, and wait and watch and digest today more than anything. We do like dollar yen lower, euro yen lower, Aussie yen lower, um, but. Conviction is really, I would say, moderate at best. Uh, so, waiting for more signs that trend line in dollar yen uh, would give us a little bit more something to sink our teeth into. But we see that seems a million miles away, even though it's only 40 points. Um, so, let's see how we go. All right, patience on this side. Tiny shorts uh, in yen crosses and dollar yen and waiting and watching. I wish you guys excellent trading day. Make some money. At least somebody out there should make some money. Um, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.